The challenge is on. Three minutes to Corey Keeley and Ontario Beef for uh, suggestions and the steps on making a meal for a family. Yes. And this recipe is? Afghani beef and rice. Ooh. Delicious. It's a one pot meal. Okay. And these are the seasonings that make it really unique and, and really ethnic tasting delicious. So we threw in some ground cumin and garlic. Okay. We're going to add some turmeric, a teaspoon. Uh, and then we have, what are you picking up there? <laughs> cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and nutmeg. Mm. And cardamom. Yes. Some really, really citrusy, delicious um, aroma. And then these are red pepper flakes. Okay. okay, we're going to mix that in. Then we're going to take one pound of cubed Ontario top sirloin. Ontario! It's, yeah, so it's like one big steak. You chop it up and that extends it. Makes a nice family meal. We're going to put it in. You're just going to mix it together. You're going to let this sit for 30 minutes on the counter. If you're going to let it sit longer than that, you put it into the refrigerator up to 24 hours. So the, the, the seasoning comes together, it tenderizes the meat, it infuses the flavor. Mm. And then we're going to fast forward over to the uh, stove and cook it. All right. Oh, so aromatic. I know. And look, when you see how brown the meat's become, that's all of the, the spices have absorbed into the meat. So really delicious. Okay. So we're taking a little bit of vegetable oil. And we're just going to pan fry the beef. Uh, probably takes about two minutes per side, just till it's nice and browned up. Okay, so the beef is beautifully browned. You can see it's left some of the nice drippings on the bottom. I have two cups of carrots that I julienned. Again, this recipe, I love it because it's using all Ontario ingredients available year round. You always can get carrots, you can always get onions. Super easy. So this is a whipped together meal. If you've got beef, you've got carrots, onions, you've got a delicious, <laughs> fragrant meal. So you're just doing this to move the carrots around. Just giving it a quick little pan fry and just absorbing some of the juices. We're going to remove this onto a plate and set it aside. And we're going to use those delicious spices on the bottom. Oh, and we're going to add yeah. onion to this. We're going to add a little bit of onion. This is one onion that's been finely minced. And some rice, one cup of rice. And so again, one pot. You're not wasting any of this delicious seasoning on the bottom. Just going this to is move it around. Rice, like long, green, this long is basmati rice. rice because oh, I this love is basmati. yeah. It, again, the word fragrant is coming up a lot in this, but basmati rice is so fragrant. You can just smell it. it's nutty almost, delicious. So we're just scraping this up. We're adding two cups of beef broth, or actually, excuse me, one cup of beef broth, one cup of water. We're just going to use the um, either your tongs or something just to scrape the bits off because that's full of flavor. We're going to cover this up. And fast forward 15 minutes to where it has absorbed. Okay. okay, it's absorbed all the liquid, the onions. You can see it's nice and browned. We're going to add back into the rice our beef cubes with the um, carrots. We're just going to put, mix it in, and let it sit for 10 minutes so the flavors come together. Have the you rice turned is it down now to a low or like a yeah, simmer? It's just on low and we'll put the lid on and we'll let it sit 10 minutes and voila fini. And you can garnish it with a little mm. bit of cilantro or parsley, some pine nuts, really yummy. That's Easy. fantastic. And tell me the name of this again? Afghani beef and rice. And one it's pot all wonder. in one pot yeah. and uh, flavorful and aromatic and courtesy of Corey Keeley yeah. and Ontario Beef. Yes, you can get the recipe on makeitontariobeef.ca. Thanks Corey. You're welcome. All right, dinner's on.